Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another maths tutorial video today. You all know that I already made a video on factorization part 1. You can search in my channel or you can watch that video from my end screen suggested video. This is the thumbnail of that video. My today's video is based on factorization part 2 and in today's video I am going to explain you some more important methods of factorization. So let's get started. In my first example x square plus xy plus 8x plus 8y I have to do factorization by grouping method so you can see that I am taking common from the first two terms x and then I am taking common 8 so here x plus y is common for the both group and then I got the answer this like. In my next example 15xy minus 6x plus 10y minus 4 and from the first two terms I am taking 3x common and you can see that 5y minus 2 is left from the last two terms I am taking 2 common here again 5y minus 2 is left so both the two groups I am taking 5y minus 2 common and I am getting the required result as factorization. In my third example you can see 6ab minus b square plus 12ac minus 2bc. I have to shift this third term into second position to create my required group and then b square will be shifted to third place. This like I am changing the terms position keeping the sign same. So 6a will be common b plus 2c is left and from the last two group minus b will be common and be careful about the sign then b plus 2c will be left again. So from the both two group you can see that b plus 2c is common again and this is the result for this factorization. In my fourth example a square x square plus a x square plus 1 into x plus a. Here just I have to multiply the x with the terms inside the bracket in my first step and then I have to take common from the two first two terms a x square and what I am getting a plus x and from the last two term I have to take one common to get x plus a or a plus x both are same and you can see from the both two group I am getting a plus x common and this is the ultimate result for this example. In my fifth example 3ax minus 6ay minus 8by plus 4bx I have to shift the last term into second position to make the group. This decision you have to take very carefully how you can make group shifting the terms as well. So this like will be the sum shifting the last term into second position. Now you can see easily I can take x common 3a plus 4b will be left and again from the last two terms I am taking 2y common same 3a plus 4b will be left and again from the both group uh, I have to take 3a plus 4b common but be careful about the sign now I am getting ultimate result of this factorization method So I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Stay tuned to my channel and definitely follow my all videos to get good marks in science and mathematics. Bye bye for today.